Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. A forum member wrote in and wanted me to make some Cinema 4D uh, tutorials, some basic tutorials to help uh, beginners get familiar with how the tools work, the interface, uh, etc. And all, pretty much all of the tutorials that I have ever created have for the most part been with Hexagon and that's the program that at least the modeling program that I use the most and, and, and am the most comfortable with. When If you are a Hexagon user and only a Hexagon user if you choose to purchase Cinema 4D which I would highly recommend because uh, uh, it is not Hexagon. It will it will blow your mind everything that Cinema 4D can do and in many cases do better than 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 Hexagon and if you choose to purchase it and it is it is the month of August and Christmas is uh, coming up so this might be something you might want to put on your Christmas wish list, wish list and see if Santa Santa Claus brings it to you uh, and if but if you do decide to get it um, it can be very, very, very intimidating because of all the tools and all the options and all the um, material that this program contains. So my objective in these tutorials is to get a beginner familiar with the layout of the program, how some of the basic tools operate, simply an introduction. So if you do decide to purchase it, the first thing I heartily recommend is to come over here on the internet and go to c4dcafe.com. This is the, in my opinion, the best internet resource for Cinema 4D. Um, I say that because the creator of this website, Nigel Doyle, has created this website pretty much for the same purposes that Vladimir created Geek It Play. It is to provide a wealth of information, help, and assistance with the program for people's for people with all experience levels and all of his tutorials well nearly all of his tutorials are video tutorials and you can download them and save them on your desktop save them wherever and view them as many times as you want over and over and over again and the benefit of of, of course is that if you uh, you know watch a tutorial and several months later you forgot how to do something well all you have to do is go to your uh, you know your hard drive wherever it is that you save that tutorial and refresh your memory so that's very helpful I want to click on the tutorial tabs up here and one of the some of the tutorials that I would strongly encourage you to look at is down here in the interface object manager manager layers and customizing the interface these tutorials here will get you familiar with setting up the menus and the user interface of the program how you are most comfortable with it. and one of the greatest things about Cinema 4D is everything and I mean everything is customizable from these tabs over here you can add them delete them you can create your new ones even up here where the uh, the title bar or whatever this is called uh, where it says functions animation character render plugins rent window help you can create your own uh, sub menus up here and create whatever content that you want in them you can uh, create your own tools down here along the side arrange them how you want change the size of the icons um, because everyone works differently you will most definitely want to set the program up according to how it best works for you so 
you definitely want to check out these tutorials for customizing the interface, uh, getting familiar with the navigation in the program, changing views, using the view panels, using cameras, um, adding toolbar buttons, and editing folding palettes. And I'm not going to go and recreate these tutorials. Uh, Nigel has done a wonderful job, and I see no need to. Uh, one of the other things I would strongly, strongly recommend is coming up here to Downloads. Click on Downloads, and down here in Plugins, there are some extremely uh, useful plugins that add additional functionality and new tools to Cinema 4D. And the one that I would definitely recommend the most is this one here, the Axis Center Tool. And I will just briefly give you a demonstration of what this tool does. Sometimes when you import an object, <coughs> the axis that the program assigns to it is not necessarily in the center. I mean, if I click on my cube, you would think that the axis widget should be right in the center. It would be nice if it was, uh, but it's not. Most of the time it is. Um, so if there's anything I want to do to this, if I go to rotate it, well, it doesn't rotate it in the center of this object. It does it way out over here where the axis is assigned. Well, I could very easily come over here to uh, the position of it and zero it out zero this out and now it's where it's supposed to be but a very easy way to do it is to I'm gonna to come to my own custom layout is I have this plugin right up here make sure I can see it here and so if this is where my axis is assigned to this object, all I have to do is press this button and it jumps right to the center. And that's a very essential uh, tool for using Cinema 4D. I have some other ones uh, immediately available up here as well as a bunch of other pl plugins that I have and user scripts and, and stuff like that. So I recommend going to uh, C4D Cafe, learning what you can over there. And while you're at it, you can also make a small financial donation there. It, it helps keep the, program, the site running, especially with all the bandwidth. Uh, there's one other thing I want to mention, which is extremely important. Um, the forums. The forums at Cinema 4D are some of the most some of the best forums I've ever I've ever I've ever used and experienced extremely extremely knowledgeable people uh, are constantly answering questions as well as Nigel himself um, I think of all the many 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 questions that I've asked um, nearly all of them have been answered by Nigel himself who is the absolute master god guru Jedi Knight of using Cinema 4D. So if you ever run into some problems, you can always post a question here at uh, in the forums and you're guaranteed to uh, get the answer fairly quickly. Um, it also helps if you are experiencing modeling problems to upload the file the the modeling file here so that other people can see what it is that your problem is and show you a workaround so that is um, cinema 4d c4d cafe uh, a great online resource and um, you can't exist in the c4 in the cinema 4d world as a new user without that site. So this is a very basic introduction to Cinema 4D. I'm going to do another one right after this. Briefly showing uh, some of the tools and uh, just, just some of the methods to get 
uh, get started up and running quickly using Cinema 4D, such as how to create objects, how to subdivide them, how to make your selections, and some basic, uh, uh, how some of the basic tools work. So that's it for this introduction tutorial for Cinema 4D. My name is Gary Miller. Thanks for watching here at Geek and Play Studios. Have a good day.